Okay, today is December the 9th, 2015. We're watching the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. And uh, today in Los Angeles, we had our uh, eighth day of heavy, uh, intense uh, chemtrail spraying in the skies because of all of these storms that are moving in uh, into California. Now, right now, we're watching the water vapor loop, and we see that we have a, this is a hurricane force a storm moving on shore, moving right into uh, Oregon and Washington. And also notice that we have a harp transmitter right in this uh, jet stream field right here. And what's happening with that is that that is cutting off the long tail of moisture that would, uh, the associated front that would be uh, the tail on this thing, uh, which would normally uh, deliver rain as it swings down into California. When this thing moves over uh, the, uh, over the, over the uh, United States, we would have a a long tail that would move right into California. But what we see here on the infrared map is that that tail is all missing because of the harp transmitter right here. And that's cutting off this entire uh, jet stream flow. Uh, as we can see here, there's really uh, uh, very little uh, uh, moisture right here. And this is the tail that would normally drag down and uh, deliver rain to the southern part of the state. And so that's the uh, that's the interesting feature on this map right at the moment is that uh, we should have a, a very a uniform uh, moisture field all the way out through here. Uh, we've got another storm right here, by the way, and that will show you that on the uh, surface pressure analysis. And so this entire uh, field should be just uh, moisture laden all through here. But we've got a harp transmitter and then we've got the chemtrails all through here. So Southern California. Uh, uh, it doesn't look good, but uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to uh, say no rain, but uh, the chances are, are small. Right now, we've got um, 30 inches of uh, mercury in the barometer at uh, 9.50 p.m. The relative humidity right now is 37.4%. We have a temperature of 50, about 57 degrees. The dew point is 31.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's very, very low, uh, and uh, but we do have an approaching hurricane force storm right here, and that is going to deliver a lot of rain into Oregon and, and uh, Washington. They've been getting a lot of rain. In fact, they were on the news, Seattle and a few places uh, are really getting hammered with rain, uh, flooding and so forth. So um, that is a big storm, uh, but we see that this harp transmitter right here is cutting off the uh, the tail in this jet stream flow. So there's not a, a, a long uh, front with this uh, system that should be uh, dropping down and delivering rain. We'll have to see what happens. Uh, let's go to the next maps and uh, take a look here at the, uh, this is the Western US. Uh, we can see the size of that storm is very, very large. Uh, they will not show this on the news. I caught uh, part of the news on channel nine. They don't, uh, it's a cartoon version of the news basically. And the same thing with, uh, Channel 4 at 11 p.m. <clears throat> it's all just uh, basically cartoon animation stuff. Uh, the guys are standing in front of the maps out here while they show the temperatures, and we don't ever get to see what's going on. So uh, anyway, I think I've made that point a few times, but uh, I'll just say it one more time for all the new uh, subscribers. Uh, there's a, a, a cover-up in our uh, so-called free press. Uh, they're not showing us what's going on offshore. And there's a reason for that. Uh, number one is that these storms are gigantic. And number two, California just never seems to get any rain out of these uh, big systems for one reason or another. And so we're trying to show what's going on. And, and mainly what's going on is that these uh, <clears throat> areas of dry uh, right here, these dark areas are uh, heat being uh, generated by harp transmitters. And they weaken the storms by uh, heating these uh, cores. And also they can cut the flow off of the jet stream uh, by uh, uh, focusing heat right here, which they're doing. All right. We can see the effect of that uh, right there. It's, there's, there's no moisture here. This should be a long uh, tail. And uh, there's nothing really there. There's a little, of course, there's rain out there, but nothing uh, like this. So there's, there's obviously a, an effort here being made to cut that off, and that's what's happening. Okay, let's look at the uh, jet stream, and uh, we see that 
Things are almost, well, the jet stream's dropped down quite a bit. Last night it was just skirting the top of uh, California. Now we can see it's dropped down quite a bit to the uh, central part of the state. And uh, things are uh, walling up over here. Uh, and we have a flow that moves up into Canada and back down uh, into the United States to, to, towards the uh, southeast. All right, uh, let's look at the surface analysis uh, map. And we can see that we have a uh, hurricane force storm. This is that one that's right off of Oregon right now. We have a cold front here. We have a warm front, which is uh, the harp transmitter inside of the core of this thing. And uh, we have what's different about tonight's report is that uh, we have a very long, elongated area of high pressure right here, all through here, 1,025 millibar. We've got 1,020 millibar over here. And uh, this may, this, situ this situation here, rather than having a triangular shaped uh, low pressure that came all the way out and across and up like this, may allow some of this uh, to, to get in. Uh, so it's very iffy. Uh, my guess is that in Los Angeles, we won't get much rain at all. Uh, maybe San Luis Obispo will get a little bit of rain, but I just kind of don't think we're going to get much. Um, so, But this, this should be delivering a lot of rain. If they got these high pressures out of the way and uh, got the planes, the, 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 these jets that are spraying these chemtrails, if they were grounded, we would have some nice, clean, fresh ocean air, and we'd have a lot of rain and a lot of really nice, real clouds, like we had here a few weeks ago. All right. Okay, now we have another storm out here that is uh, de uh, developing, and uh, that is uh, going to move towards the, uh, towards the uh, west coast here in the days ahead. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, we also have a gale right up here in the uh, Gulf of Alaska. Let's go back again and take a look at that big map. This system right up here. Alaska's been getting a lot of rain as well, just like uh, uh, Washington and Oregon have in the last few days. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, this is the geostationary satellite, SSEC geostationary satellite. We can see a lot of chemtrails uh, through the uh, moisture field right here as this thing moves on shore on the jet stream. This is all jet stream right here. And uh, there's just a lot of chemtrails all through here. And uh, we'll take another look at a different map here in a second. This is the uh, this is the MODIS Today map. And this is LA right here. And we'll just pan around. And first of all, we can see about a 250 mile long uh, chemtrail right here. This is a new one, a fresh one. But all the rest of this ribbon-like crap this off-white stuff is all chemtrail mix. All of this stuff. All chemtrails. Here's San Diego right down here. Mexican border. You can see this stuff is just sprayed everywhere. Very, very heavy uh, spraying. Uh, and blowing my nose all day long. Okay, now here's, here is a... Uh, Here's some real clouds, and of course, when uh, when we see real clouds, we also see uh, more intense uh, chemtrail spraying. So they, they spray over the top of these clouds right here, and we can see that pattern. These lines right here, there's a couple lines there. And then we have these older trails that are all spread out. Uh, they've been hitting this uh, to uh, prevent the lift. We have these incoming bands of moisture, and then that's where they focus their spraying. It's mainly out, out offshore. Uh, right here where we're seeing this super white stuff is the real clouds and the fake stuff, the off-white dirty uh, color, the dirty white is the uh, chemtrail mix. Okay, so uh, again, we've got the uh, incoming clouds and they spray the tops of those because these otherwise would bring rain. If they left these alone, they would uh, rise and uh, because we've got moisture and lift, we get rain. That's how it works. You've got to have moisture and lift to get rain. When you take away the lift factor with the chemtrails, they cause the capping inversion layer, and we don't get lift, then we get uh, no rain. And so this is a this is a a deliberate effort. It's being a, it's a covert weather uh, modification uh, scheme going on. 
and uh, we're watching that every day. All right, so that's the situation uh, over Southern California right here. This is all chemtrails. We can see these long trails. They're just all over the place. They're everywhere. All right, so where is the Environmental Protection Agency? What do they do all day? That was my question the other day. Maybe we ought to start uh, sending emails to the, the EPA and asking them why they are not uh, investigating what's going on up in the skies over our uh, country. Let's see what kind of answers we get. It's my guess that those bozos have no idea. They, they probably have no clue about what's going on. They've been, they watch television, of course, and they know that certain things are going on. But they, beyond that, I, I don't think they probably know much of anything. Okay, here is the, uh, the wind analysis swell the ocean swell analysis we have uh, 42 foot seas uh, generated by that uh, hurricane force storm that's moving right at Oregon and Washington and that should be bringing a lot of rain to the uh, northwest California I think will get gypped again but uh, hopefully not okay let's take a look at these pressure maps this is the uh, 500 millibar <clears throat> and we can see that uh, hurricane force low pressure right here and uh, this is forecast to move onshore and possibly drop down. This is what they were saying on the television set, but it's unlikely. We've got some uh, areas, little peaks here. These little ridges indicate high pressure, so um, uh, that, that may not happen. The same thing with the uh, 300 millibar. So, uh, see that low pressure right here, this little trough here. We'll see what happens. That's the 500 again. All right. So that's that's pretty much it uh, for today. That's the summary. And uh, we will uh, do an update uh, tomorrow. Again, they've got a harp transmitter right here that's cutting off the jet stream flow, which would normally have a, we'd have a nice moisture-laden uh, trail right here, which would drop down and uh, bring some rain into the uh, further south into the state. But that's course not happening we've got high pressure down here and uh things are just not looking too good for rain but uh i hope i'm wrong anyhow we'll do another update tomorrow that's it